Adam, thanks. All right, we are continuing to track, track this breaking news situation in Seattle where police say someone stole a school bus and then intentionally used it to smash a number of cars and trucks. Now, we don't know a ton about this. John Hopperset is almost at one of the scenes, but here's what I can tell you. Three neighborhoods involved here. The Central District, apparently one of them like 23rd and Lane, so this neck of the woods, apparently also Beacon Hill and into Soto as well. So one, two, and the third neighborhood right there at this moment. Apparently, this person, after leading police on a chase as well, was ultimately arrested here. Now police are asking anybody, look, if you come outside this morning, you see your truck, your car smashed into, look, we just popped up a live picture right at the scene. I think this is the one in the Central District. Um, so you can see heavy police response here. Um, so our, our photographer is on the scene. Obviously, they've got um, emergency crews there as well because of, you know, this was obviously a big danger to the scene. So there's some of the seemingly damage at this moment. Not exactly sure what that is at this moment. We can tell you uh, that apparently there was no one on this bus other than the person who stole it. I believe that John Hopperstad actually literally just arrived at the scene seconds after we popped up this live shot. Hop, are you actually there? Can you hear me? And if so, what are you seeing and what are you yeah. learning? Yeah, I'm here, Travis, and I think you're looking at that bus, and that's the one that uh, this driver apparently got into and took off and slammed into what is the Wood Technology Center here. It's a school uh, off to the side here on 23rd, and I've just been told that uh, they've canceled classes for the day because of this incident. Not sure if this bus is related to this school or not, uh, but as you mentioned, there was just one person in the bus, that's a person who stole it and began uh, slamming into vehicles around here. You could see that 23rd here is shut down, at least uh, heading north. Uh, southbound lane is open in one direction, but it looks like they just loaded a patient into an ambulance here. There's a large police presence here as well. And you can see some of the damage here uh, that, that was done. A lot of a lot of things struck by this bus uh, before slamming literally into this school here. We're told the traffic signals are out at the intersection of Martin Luther King Way Jr. and South Othello Street. We tell you this is right around uh, 23rd and Lane here, and it's creating a real mess for drivers as well right now. But as you mentioned, they've arrested a suspect here. Apparently, stole this school bus intentionally struck many occupied vehicles as he took off from police. So at this point, police are actually asking the public um, if you believe your vehicle or your property was struck by that school bus uh, in this area this morning. Please call 911. They want to hear from you here. Uh, no children or passengers on that bus again, but uh, many scenes disrupting traffic in this neighborhood this morning after, after what happened here. We're trying to get some more information from police. I actually see a police spokesperson arriving on scene here in just the last couple of minutes here. So we're going to toss it back to you, get some more information, then we'll come back to you with what we know. All right, John, appreciate it. Thank you for keeping us up to date on that. Also this morning,